All right, Shock Master fans, we're going to watch a Wes Craven made-for-television movie from the 80s. It's called Chiller. Let's check it out. starts off in a cryogenics lab where uh, there's a problem with one of the canisters. So this is a guy named Miles Creighton who was frozen 10 years earlier. He's starting to thaw. That's mom. There is going to be a miracle and I wanted you to be with me. What are you talking about? Paul Servita's the reverend. They're going to give my son back. What? Too late to like refreeze them, so they gotta bring them out. The question is, can they do it? Try the defibrillator to jumpstart them. goes in and start rub, starts to rub his arms and hands. <laughs> Showing signs of life and he starts to bubble. He's coming out of it. Ned Wormer, you might remember him as the doorman of the Jeffersons. Ralph. Turns out Miles is kind of an asshole now. This is the guy who's been running his family's company the last 10 years. And what exactly is it you do there? Later on, he has a confrontation with the dog, and uh, well, I don't quite see what happens. He kills the thing. This is Jill Sholin, by the way. Mom adopted a daughter at some point. What's this? Donation? Contribution? Burns Center County Hospital. Westside Fellowship Church. Let's see. A dozen more. I ask you, how can you justify this? He ends up firing the guy, family friend for years, and running the company in his absence. Who fired you? I don't need you anymore. After he forced him to like, follow him up these steps, he's old and heart starts beating fast. Next thing you know, he has a heart attack and dies. I want you to tell him it was all mistake. 
She doesn't know yet that he's dead. You mean? First thing tomorrow. Don't you think too? You might recognize the mom as from being from Poltergeist. Okay. Later on, Jill Sholem gets undressed. Turns out there's a peephole. Now, I've always had a thing for Jill Sholem, so I get it, but you just can't do that. This is Lee, one of the company executives. I have a room in this hotel. Well, in spite of what she said, she actually does go to his hotel room. And he's a prick. No. And then the next time we see her, she's got a lot of scars. He beat the hell out of her. And you really have been called back. And yes, you've seen them yourself. And you want to stay. I'll tell you what's on the other side. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You die and it's simply darkness. You're a liar. What I believe is true. It will always be true. <laughs> So he basically drags him until he's released. <laughs> he wants to go back and finish the job. But somehow he survived. How did it happen? situation with Stacy. lock him in this giant walk-in freezer that they have. Every house has one. She calls the police on him. Where to find him? Frozen. Again. Or is he? He no longer have a soul. He's apparently achieved super strength, but can he withstand bullets? The answer is no. Mom shoots her own son and kills him. Our movie ends back at the cryogenics lab where there's a problem on several of the tubes. And I think history is going to repeat itself. 
All right. Let's talk about this movie called Chiller. I never even heard of this movie until very recently. I was uh, on eBay and I was trying to buy something and it was had one of these sellers who was like, buy three, get one free, something like that. So I started searching for his, the rest of his auctions and grabbed a couple other things and I found this thing. It's a Wes Craven made for television movie from 1985, uh, which was actually after Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, right around that time, I think he also made that... Uh, Invitation to Kill, or was it Invitation to, invitation to, invitation to Hell, that's what it is, which I think I've also reviewed earlier on this channel. So, but anyway, never heard of this before. It stars Michael Beck, Paul Servino, and uh, the woman, Michael Beck's mother, is uh, Beatrice Strait. You might remember her from the movie Poltergeist. She was one of the uh, paranormal investigators who came to the house. The, um, not Zelda Rubenstein, but the other lady. So, anyway... What we have here is, uh, being in the movie, there's a cryogenics chamber, and uh, there's some sort of malfunction on one of the tubes, and they have to thaw this guy out uh, early. It turns out it's Michael Beck. Uh, he's been frozen for 10 years, and apparently um, uh, uh, whatever ailed him has been, they found a cure for it. So they're bringing him back to see if it'll work, and it does work. Uh, his mother is, like, overjoyed. Um to have her son back, but her son isn't quite right anymore. Uh, we don't know that right away, but he's not quite right. Um, it turns out he doesn't have a soul anymore, and he's kind of an asshole. Um, he's mean to women. He fires some people in the company. He, he immediately like takes over his uh, the family business again, fires this longtime friend of the family who's been keeping the business afloat stuff while he's been out, um, abuses this other woman, uh, you know, entices her to his hotel room and abuses her. Um, he ends up killing the old guy too. Uh, 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 he's just an asshole. <laughs> Basically, he's an asshole. Um, and uh, there's this priest uh, played by Paul Servino. Um, he, he's a friend of the family's too. And he eventually surmises that uh, what happened here is when you know when you die, your soul goes to heaven or wherever it goes, and um, so you lose your soul. Well, Michael Beck, his character here, uh, what was his name Miles? I think it was Miles Creighton. He died, and sub subsequently his soul left his body, so when his body was brought back to life, it had no soul, and that's why he's an asshole. So he keeps doing asshole things. Eventually, uh, he runs over the priest with his car. Um, it's amazing that he survived, but the priest did, and he tells the mother, he's like, Miles did this to me. So mom uh, is able to get Miles and lock him in a freezer. The cops come, and uh, it looks like he's dead, but he's not. And then um, he fights with the cops. And then eventually, mom takes a gun and shoots her son. And that's the end of the film. So that's chiller for you. Again, I read a scathing review of this movie on IMDb that uh, on one of those critic websites who thought this was shit. But um, I didn't think it was that bad, honestly. Made for television, 86 minutes, not a long film. But uh, it moved along fine. And uh, again... I didn't have any problems with it. Um, Jill Sholin is also in this movie. She plays the, uh, I guess she's a, a, a step, uh, not a stepsister, uh, uh, an adopted, mom adopted her uh, probably while uh, uh, Miles was uh, in cryogenics. Um, so she plays a small role in this. Doesn't really have much to do, to be honest with you. But that's Chiller. Again, I got nothing more much to tell you about this. I did look it up. This movie has been released on VHS. Um, I never came across this in my travels back in the day. And it's been released on this DVD. It's a pretty cheap DVD. The G VHS is still available, also pretty cheap. Uh, you can probably get this for five, six bucks or so. Um, the quality is not all that great. It's a little, in fact, I thought it was a little scratchy, some of the audio, but what are you going to do, right? So it, it is what it is. Check it out. Leave some comments. You know what you think about Chiller, not to be confused with Chillers, which I've also reviewed. Watch it. Bye.